All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Westbrook Brewing Company, and they are out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. And this is their Lemon Cucumber Goza. So they are calling this a malt beverage with natural flavors added, but technically it's a Goza uh, brewed with lemons and cucumbers. Comes in at 4% alcohol by volume, no IVs listed, but I imagine it's in the single digits. And they have um, yellow font on a white background, which is ridiculously hard to read. But basically they just talk about lemons and cucumbers being here and how it's refreshing and blah, blah, blah. This was canned on... 61818, making this about three weeks old at the time of review. But when you see this, it'll be about a month old. Um, but yeah, the, the beer at the time of review is only three weeks old. So yeah, it's still pretty damn fresh. It says best served at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. This is probably 45 to 50. So yeah, anyway, I love their key lime pie goes. In fact, I will post a link in the description box to the review I did of that one because it's one of my favorite goes as period, but also one of my favorite spring summertime beers. So when I saw that they're coming out with a lemon cucumber goes, I was like, I like lemon, I like cucumber, I like their base goza. What's not the hopefully like and maybe love? I don't know. Got the Westbrook uh, glass here because proper glassware, but no, no hashtag, never. And let's give this a pour. So, oh, I don't want it to go everywhere. But anyway, let's give it a proper pour, that is. So cucumbers are weird when it comes to beers, uh, in my opinion. I've only had a handful of cucumber beers, but more often than not, um, for me, they just kind of, I don't know. I love cucumbers and I can see the point of putting them in beers because they're refreshing and cool and whatever. Uh, but for me, I've had like a cucumber Kolsch before where I was like, it's, it's all right, but I'd rather just have the Kolsch by itself. I don't know. Well, hopefully with the lemon and, and the Goza base, this one's a bit different. So this one has this nice... This honestly looks like a New England style IPA. Um, it has this bright yellow, uh, slightly, not slightly, actually pretty decent haze to it. A finger, half a finger of an off-white head that is dissipating. Yeah, it's it's a Goza. Kind of looks similar to their Key Lime Pie one, honestly. Maybe a bit brighter, uh, but it has that, you know, uh, murkid, turbid and murky uh, component to it, which not a lot of Gozas have. But anyway, let's get a nose on this. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like lemon. Uh, there's a slight hint of cucumber, but the lemon is kind of dominating. Yeah, this actually smells like if you've ever, you know, juiced a lemon to put in a drink or in a, a dish you're preparing or whatever. It has that like very vibrant and like just acidic nose to it that's kind of just like lemon juice. Maybe a slight hint of like salinity underneath it. Really not picking up on the cucumber. Maybe a slight hint of it, but it's not really there. I wouldn't tell you that there's cucumber in this if I was doing it blind. And I wouldn't even tell you the base of this is, is a goza um, based on the nose. It just kind of smells like a lemon sour, just an, an, a generic lemon sour. Doesn't smell bad, but it's kind of like one note. It's lemon, all the lemon, and nothing but the lemon. So anyway, it smells refreshing. So let's get into it. Cheers. There's the cucumber. <laughs> just, it wasn't even a surprise. It was just like, boom, there it is. This is actually pretty fucking tasty. <laughs> Not gonna sit here and bullshit you with, you know, fucking 15 different tasting notes. The cucumbers are actually the first thing that hits my palate. If you've ever had cucumbers, and I'm sure everyone out there has had cucumbers, and there's a lot of people that don't like cucumbers, and I get it. For me, love cucumbers, a little bit of salt, pepper, you know, some kind of dip or something, fantastic. Even by themselves, plain, they're just fine. Uh, not a lot of flavor going on, but it has that like cool, refreshing sensation to a cucumber. That's kind of what you're hit with right at the beginning of this one. Just straight up, cucumber has this cooling sensation. And then that lemon juice hits you. It's almost like you ate a cucumber and then maybe like, you know, <laughs> drank a little lemon juice. That sounds absolutely horrendous, I know. But it actually works. This one is more tart than say full on sour. Kind of like the key lime pie goes. It's not mouth puckering. It just, and that's a lot of kettle sours, right? It just has a nice tartness or light sourness. Um, as it passes through the palate, a bit of dryness starts to develop. And then like on the back of the uh, throat, there's almost like you just got done drinking like a fruit juice. It has like just that feeling on the back of the palate. 
Aside from that, though, it's relatively uh, crisp. It's clean. It's ref refreshing. You know, terms you would use for like an adjunct log or something. That's what this is meant for. This is meant for, you know, at a barbecue, uh, you know, hanging out by the pool, just hanging out with your friends on the deck or whatever. You could drink uh, a couple of these and not get sick of it. It's not overly uh, tart. Uh, the lemon isn't too much. I thought in the nose it would just, you know, hit me in the face and just repeatedly punch me until the fact that I'm like, ah, I don't want any more of this. But it didn't. It actually, it, it was way subdued and dialed back from the nose. The cucumbers came up, broke up the um, lemon a bit, and that nice dryness on the back end. A little bit of salinity too hanging around the palate, like on the sides of the tongue. This is light body though, light to higher side of light body. Mouthfeel, like I said, very crisp and uh, effervescent, you know this has carbonation to it, and that's kind of what it's meant for. This is good. Um, I gave the Key Lime Pie, I want to say a 475. It's nowhere in that range for me, but I have no problem giving this like a, a 4 to 4.25. I guess it depends on the day. Like right now, this is drinking as a 4, but if I had this outside or whatever, it would be 4.25. Regardless, it gets a pretty damn good score. I'm going to go 4 out of 5 for the Lemon Cucumber Goza from Westbrook Brewing Company. Um, if you guys see this and you get Westbrook in your area, pick this up and see, see what you think about it. Um, I would love to do a side-by-side -side with this and the Key Lime Pie Goza. Maybe that'll be something I do later this summer if they keep on you know bringing these out or I can find them both at the same time. But for me, the Key Lime Pie is more in my wheelhouse. At the same time, this is pretty damn tasty and probably the best cucumber beer I've ever had, which isn't saying a lot. I probably had like, you know, five or six of them. But anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Do whatever you want with it. If I can pick it up, throw it outside, kick it, run over it with your car, doesn't matter. But if you want to be notified, then hit the bell because I think that helps. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Anyway, till the next one. Cheers.